So, it's time for more Minecraft. Been working on my house a bit. Decorated. Looks pretty nice in here now. I'm gonna make a basement pretty soon. But that's for another day. That's not for today. Let me show you around. I've added quite a lot. A uh, little walk away here. Some steps. Mine is... This is the mine entrance over here. I'll, I'll take you over there in a minute. This is my, uh, my little farm. My little garden. Where I planted all the uh, stolen seeds and vegetables from the village I found. Um, we've got cows here. Multiplied fruitfully. There's plenty for me to slaughter when I need them. I've got some sheep. Which were much easier to get than the cows because they were just right around the corner. I've got three horses in here. Tamed horses. And I have a saddle so I can ride them. Um, sheep, you need to get out of the way. Out of the way. Oh, you're such a... Sheep really likes me. Whoops. Just want to show you... Oh, I don't even have the saddle with me. Saddle's inside. Uh, almost finished all the paths. I've got some really big trees grew here, so I'm going to build a tree house up there eventually. That's the plan. This is my garden shed. I've just got all my, like, seeds and different plant stuff, building materials. I'll go on a little horsey ride real quick. I need to put a... Where's my saddle? I found this saddle. You can't make saddles, which is bullshit, really. You should totally be able to make saddles, but you can't. But while I was mining, I actually came across a, uh, a dungeon. And since I had it set to peaceful still, there were no monsters in the dungeon. I just walk in and take the stuff in the uh, chests that were in there. I'm gonna ride this one. What you do, right click it, put the saddle on here, and now you right click the horse. And you totally control this horse. And horses are frigging awesome. They move so fast, and they can jump fences. They jump really high. You can just run up cliff faces with them. <laughs> ah, okay, not not actual cliff faces. Anything that is one tile or less, they'll just run up. And he moves super fast, like ridiculously fast. Check this out, man. Whee! And you can see they have their own health bars and stuff. Whoa! Let's not jump in there. Let's head back home. If you need to travel a long distance, horses are amazing. The only problem is they're afraid of water. So, here we go. I'll leave the saddle on the horse. So you can't take them across rivers without a leash or lead. And in order to make one of those, you need a slime ball. And it's quite complicated to find one of those. So, for the time being, I can only ride them around here. I do eventually plan on... Uh, Adventuring for some slime balls. You can see over here in the distance I built a little bridge. This was so that I could get the horses over the river. Because the horses all spawned over here in a big herd. Just take a quick look. As soon as I built this bridge, a pig watered onto it and the pig has not... Oh, there's a horse on there now. And the pig is gone. Maybe the horse ate the pig. Horses eat pigs, right? Probably. Hi. I could tame this one. They throw you off at first. Ooh, this one's tolerating me quite well. Oh, maybe it's tamed already? No. But uh, I can't control it without the saddle. I would have to go back. There's a horse in a tree over there. Jesus. I would have to go back and get my saddle if I wanted to take that horse home. I'll just leave it there. There's so many here. And you can breed horses, and they have like attributes like speed and strength and things like that. And you can actually breed them to be stronger and whatnot. Um, Alright, right here you can see I've got three saplings. And these are dark oak saplings. And for ages they weren't growing and I didn't understand what was happening so I looked it up on the wiki. And you have to actually plant four of them together because the trunk of a dark oak is four, it's two by two, like this. And I only actually got three saplings. 
and I got the saplings by wandering off and getting horribly, horribly lost. And, uh, I'm not precisely sure where they were, but I want to grow these because the wood from these is this beautiful dark wood. I think it's the wood that I, I've used on my roof there and the staircase. It's like chocolate colored. It's wonderful. And I want to be able to grow more of that. So the mission today is to go and get some. I'll just take you real quick into the mine. Show you around in there. I need to build a bridge across that river as well. Just a little entryway. I've got like my coal here and metal. I found some redstone already. I found some gold already, you see? Which is nice. And the plan is eventually I'm gonna have minecart tracks. Be able to just take the cart down here. Because I, I very quickly discovered a very extensive cave system that goes to magma. I marked where it was. Yeah, this is where the dungeon was. I walled it off. I walled that shit right off. Is the magma over here? Down here? I think so. Yep. Yeah. I need to... No, it's not down here. I lied. It's the other way. I need to put some more signs up to guide myself. This way? It was this way. Yes! This way. I made a sign. Magma. This whole huge cave system was. I almost just fell in the lava. <laughs> Watch where you're going. So, there's plenty to explore down here. I'll, I'll come back later and look for some diamond and things like that. More gold. Oh no, the sun is setting. Alright, I'm gonna go sleep in my bed. Make it day. Then we will set off on an adventure to find dark oak saplings. Alright, and good morning. I don't need much, I just need an axe basically. Maybe I'll bring another axe. I don't know why I have iron ore in here. Oh, I don't have any stone. Goodness. I literally don't have any stone with me. Alright, we'll go make some iron ones. Never mind. And then we'll go. That'll be it. I think I remember which way I went to find those trees last time. That was my first search for cows, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't need other ones. I want to save the iron. I'm actually having trouble finding very much iron for some reason. Where are the... Did I drop the sticks? God. Idiot. Doing really well. This is very well planned, as you can see. Um. I'll just leave the iron ore here. Don't think I'm gonna need that. Okay. And we're off! For real this time. Maybe I should make a boat. I think a boat is pretty easy to make. I haven't actually had a boat before, and I am going to follow the river most of the way. Let's see if I can remember. I think a boat is just like... Yay! I've got a boat. Much faster. I believe. How do I... Yay! And we're off. Oh my goodness, it's like really fast. Ah! Oh, shit. Did it break? It broke. Well, that was fun. I think we're going on foot. <laughs> we're going on foot. We're gonna, we're gonna walk. Seems to be prudent. And this time, I'm really not gonna get lost. And I'll tell you why. Stop laughing. I'll tell you why I'm not gonna get lost. Because I finally accepted my propensity 
for getting lost, and I crafted myself a map. And I crafted a very zoomed out map. To make a zoomed out, like you make a map, it takes a lot of paper and a compass, which takes iron and redstone, and you just get like a tiny little area around you fills up the whole map and then you have to expand the map by adding more and more and more paper to it. So now it's zoomed out so I can travel pretty far and still be able to find my way back on the map. In any case we're gonna be following the river so hopefully I won't need it. But I've said such things before. So many nice caves here I have to come exploring later. I like exploring. I also found another really cool Cave. Not even a cave, like a crevice. Oh, there they are! Well, that was easy. It's even closer than I realized. Those are dark oak trees, and they are gorgeous. Another cave there. Those boats were surprisingly hard to control. Actually... And look at this, there's wood from the last time I was here that I missed. I didn't pick up. And there's actually another sapling that I missed as well. Figures. Right. So like they're just massive. Let's go up as nice we can. Lots of wood on one of these. And then I'll try to find four more saplings so I can grow two of these at home. I think there have been four that I've seen already. More. Gather, gather, gather. Resource, gather. Oh, I think it's just a regular oak tree. Those apples are useful for horses, so grab them. Alright, how many saplings have I got? Eleven! That's plenty. That's plenty. We've got 49 of the wood as well. And there are mushrooms here. Giant mushrooms, which unfortunately it seems you can't, uh, you can't plant and harvest these. You just have to find them. There is a rare biome called a mushroom island about in the wiki. And if you can find one of these, you can find mushrooms, which are cows with mushrooms growing on them. And if you milk one of these cows, you get mushroom stew. So I'd like to make that a mission to find. And I also, uh, another mission is to find a jungle biome, because the cocoa beans grow there. And also there are ocelots there, which can be tamed and turned into pet cats. So two things that I would very much like. Alright, I think I've got enough, and I actually know which way to go home. I'm gonna double check anyway, cause, uh, I'm me. That way, yeah, just follow the river back. And we're off! Alright, we're back home. These are just regular oak trees. Every once in a while, very rarely, they can grow into like a giant oak tree. I got lucky with that. Let's go plant a dark oak here. They apparently grow really quickly. Um, where else should I plant one? can plant one over here, it can be part of my treehouse. Hasn't grown yet. <laughs> hmm. Maybe like right here. Got enough for one more. Maybe I'll just put it over here on its own. And use it to uh, harvest more. Yeah! Right before my very eyes. It's gorgeous. I love it. Keeping it. 
the rest in here. The mushrooms can stay here as well. Now, I need one cactus. And a poppy. I don't know if a daisy would work. I'm not sure exactly which ones these I need. Oh, I only have one. Okay. Little orchid. Well, there's a good start anyway. What am I doing with these pretty flowers? Why? They're seriously, they just crowd over here. They love me. They, they want to follow me over into the shed. Red. Oh, maybe I need more than one cactus. There's magenta, that's a good color. I know this will make yellow. This makes orange. Blue, alright. That's a, that's a good start. One for you. One for you. One for you. You. And you. I need to figure out the, the green. I know it's made from cactus. Maybe I need more pieces. Apparently I have to cook the cactus to make green. Yes. I'm gonna make a green sheet. Yeah. Gates are kind of a pain in the ass, I have to say. I feel like they generally don't... Don't work the way they are intended to. Where the hell is... What's here? Ta-da! I don't have red. No, I have red. Red, orange, yellow, green, where's green, blue, purple. I've got everything except for black, gray, and brown. And I, there are actually other colors. There's like darker blue and things like that. And now, check this out. This is the best part. But, oh, sorry, sorry. I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> right click. Right click. Right click. Right click, and when they grow their wool back, it will be the color that I dyed them. So I have now like infinitely renewable source of all these different colors of wool. Ta da! Oh, I missed the red one. Come here. Come here. Yay! The blue one grew back already. More blue! And the purple one grew back already. Wow, that's quick. I think they, they grow their wool back while eating grass, and they're just surrounded by grass now, so... Now I've got lots of naked sheep. <laughs> the purple one is just feeling extra generous. And you can make lots of beautiful decorative things with, with the colored wool. They're blocks, just like any others. It's gorgeous. Ta da! Those are all the colors I've got now, plus the white, which is just white, obviously. So it's going to allow me to make all kinds of beautiful things. Not sure what the fastest way is to break down wall, actually. Maybe clippers. Oh yes. It's very fast. Alright. I'm very pleased with this tree. I think it needs some light. This tree deserves to be lit up. It's lovely. Alright, I think that's enough for, for one adventure. 
Next time, perhaps start to work on the treehouse, or I may do that it's even sooner. We'll see. I'm sure there's there's a never-ending fun, endless things to do in this game. Good night.